Hey everyone, welcome back to Afro Home Automation. Today we're going to be diving into one of the most powerful tools in home assistance, templating. With template sensors, you can unlock advanced logic, calculations, and custom displays that go beyond basic entity states. Templates are perfect for building custom sensors, combined values, or making readable status messages that drive your automations. To get started, go to Developer Tools, then click on Template. This is where we'll test our templates using the Jinja 2 language. First, we grab the Time Motion Sensor Last Change State. Then we calculate how much time has passed since that moment. Now we break it into days, hours, and minutes. We'll build a readable string from this data. If more than a day passed, add that to the output. Same for hours, with commas if needed. Always add minutes, even if it's the only thing. Finally, return the result to the display on the dashboard. This template returns a clean, human-friendly message like three minutes ago, one hour, two minutes. It's great for dashboards and automations, like turning off lights if no motion for 15 minutes, or just knowing how long ago motion was detected. Home Assistant Dashboard with two temperature sensors. The sensor checks whether it's warmer inside or outside and tells you by how much. A great addition for dashboards or climate automation. First, we grab the temperatures from two sensors, one indoor, one outdoor. Make sure the values aren't unknown or unavailable. If either is bad, we return unknown. Now we calculate the difference and round it to one decimal place. Finally, we compare and return a user-friendly message. If the values weren't valid, you return unknown. The result is easy to read and easy to act in your automations or UI. You can now use this on your dashboard or in automations like open the windows if it's cooler outside. With this sensor, we're keeping it simple. With a yes-no sensor that tells you whether it's currently night. This is perfect for automations like turn on lights when it's night or close blinds after sunset. No need for hard coded times. The sensor checks the sun's elevation using the built in sun.sun .sun entity. When the sun's elevation is below zero degrees, that means it's night. So we return yes, otherwise it's day and we return no. It's a clear, reliable yes no output. You can use in automations without needing to deal with timestamps or offsets. Use this in automations to control lighting, notifications, or routines based on actual sunset positions, not fixed times. Simple, effective, and clean. Next, we're going to create a sensor that shows your daily electricity costs in RANDs using your usage and tariff. This template is perfect for anyone using an inverter or another energy monitor and wants to see their daily grid import costs right on their dashboard. First, we need to get the kilowatt hours imported today from the grid. Then we need to get the tariff you've set using an import number. Now we multiply them, round it off to two decimal points. Put a prefix of R for RANDs. You'll get a real-time cost based on the actual grid usage and your current rate. Add this to your dashboard or set up automations like, like sending a warning if your daily costs go over a budget. Simple, useful, and cost away. We've made it to the final sensor. In this one, 
will calculate how much of your energy usage today came from solar. This is a great metric for tracking your solar efficiency. You'll get a percentage value showing how much of your daily energy came from your panels, not the grid. First, we get your solar energy production in kilowatt hours. Then we get how much energy came from your grid. And the two together to get your total usage. Finally, we count the percentage that came from solar. If there's no usage yet, we return zero. Otherwise, we round it up to one decimal point for a clean percentage. The result is a simple float like 83.2, meaning 83% of your energy today came from solar. Visualize this as a gauge or use it in automations, like alerts when your solar share drops too low. That's it. Five powerful home assistant templates to level up your smart home automations. Whether it's tracking your energy usage, comparing temperatures, or just adding some clarity to your dashboards, these templates give you total control. You'll find all the sensor code in the description below. If this helped, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on our next automation guide. Got your favorite templates? Drop them in the comments, we'd love to feature them.